Hey everybody. Um, hi. It is Wednesday afternoon. It's a little after three o'clock. And um, uh, if you've been following social media for the past 18 minutes, then um, you know that we have a bit of an announcement to make. I, I really love everyone to bear with me here. I'm going to have to turn off the comments because I'm worried that one of them is going to make me cry. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, it is, uh, it's, it's been nearly seven years since we shot the pilot of Arrow. And uh, just a few minutes ago, on the, well, just outside the stage where we actually shot most of the pilot, where I came my very first time coming to the production office. And, um, <laughs> thank God. Uh, and where I met most of the crew, uh, a lot of which were there today on our, on our camera test day and just our sort of first day of school before we began production. Just let everyone know that uh, after a 10 episode run, uh, after a 10 episode run in season eight, uh, Arrow will be concluding. Um, I, I wanted to speak with the crew first because they're the most uh, important part of this show without a doubt. And uh, they deserved to, to know the news. Um, but there are a bunch of people for me to thank and just uh, just a f uh, just a few th things things for me to say and just wanted everyone to know the story and wanted to come from me and wanted to be in a non parsed uh, presentation so to speak. Uh, towards the end of season six, I approached Greg Berlanti, who I will be thanking in a second, and said that I thought, both personally and professionally, that at the end of my commitment this coming season, it would be the best for. Her for me to to move on um i've always been a i've always been a fan of of television shows that not only uh, don't overstay their welcome but end in a manner that really packs a punch um, and so it had always been my hope that that we would know when we were going to finish this journey and not limp to the finish line so to speak after a lot of discussion, Greg and I decided that the best way to do this would be to have me come back for a limited run in season eight, which is what we're going to do. And uh, from there, I had always hoped that beyond the 17 different shows that, that Arrow has spawned, I'm kidding, it's only like 16, that, um, that there was a possibility that the show could live on beyond, beyond me because... Uh, the entity of Oliver Queen and the character and the mythos and the iconography of Green Arrow has always been something that's bigger than than me or any other actor that's playing him or voicing him. Uh, there's always been something more to it. Uh, I spoke with Beth Schwartz and Mark Guggenheim this past Friday and then Greg Berlanti this past Friday night and it was the decision of WB and CW and Beth and Greg and Mark in a very mutual way um, based off of, of what they thought was best for the show creatively and and being very honor, honorable and respectful as it pertains to to my wishes that we were going to end after a 10 episode run next year. <sighs> Even though I've known that this is coming, it is still a very emotional time because I have been on the show in what can only be described as a fundamentally transformational, nearly decade-long run in my life. To, to start it as, a, as an actor who doesn't have a lot of experience, who was, you know, sort of dating someone, to now a large part of this decision being because I'm now a father and a husband and a lot of my uh, life and interests now don't really reside in, in Vancouver anymore and thinking that that's the best thing for me personally and professionally. To say that it has been a, a, a real sea change over the past seven plus years would be a, a vast understatement. So I'd like to begin by thanking Greg Berlanti and all of the executives that have been involved in Arrow beginning with Mark and Andrew and extending it to Wendy and now with Beth who has uh, given this show a, a, a vibrancy and, and a life that I think is just so uncommon for something that's in its seventh season and drifting upwards of 160 episodes at this point. I, I can't 
thank all of those partners enough uh, to all of our directors, but, but principally along the way, David Nutter and Glenn Winter and Wendy Maracle and James Banford, who came on in, in season five as a producing director and has been a steadying hand and has really given us just a, a lot of things that I think we never knew were missing until they were there. I'm not gonna be able to thank everyone by name, but, uh, and I'm gonna forget people, so I would like to apologize. Uh, at, at WB, Peter Roth has just shown such an amazing amount of, of, of faith in this show. And that's been so, uh, just so wonderful. Um, at, at, at the CW, um, Mark Pedowitz and Susan Gomez, Suzanne Gomez, uh, who is uh, not watching this because she's out of the office at the moment. She knows what I'm talking about. And Paul Hewitt, uh, we had a dinner this past fall with, with, with Mark and, and Paul up in Vancouver because Mark Pedowitz makes a trip every year just to come and see how we're doing. And he had some of the most kind, lovely, thoughtful words to say. So um, I'm glad that I have been uh, an ambassador for both WB, but especially for the CW because when we came aboard uh, was when he came aboard and to see the changes that the network has gone through have been really special. I'd like to thank Diane Nelson and Jeff Johns at DC for uh, having the faith that, that we could be a good ambassador for, for one of their characters and then for having the faith that this show could help spawn much bigger characters, which was always such a joy for me that they had that sort of faith in us. I've already spoken about the crew and just there's just too many people to name along the way. Um, but for some of the people that were here during the pilot, you know who you are. And um, the first thing that I said was I wanted to finish this run with as many people who began it as possible. And I really do hope that that, that comes to pass. And then the cast, um, whether you came here at the beginning or you came here in season five or six and fit in seamlessly. I've had the pleasure of working with so many wonderful actors and so many actors that just surprised and delighted me by coming on the show and telling me that they were fans of what we did as a collective. I would like to thank my family, specifically my wife Cassandra and my daughter Maverick for, for putting up with really stupid hours and this feels strange because it is certainly not the, not the end, but it is the beginning of the end. And this show has given me a platform that extends so far beyond my ability to just appear on your television 23 times a year. It has given me a voice for philanthropic endeavors, for, for, for social issues that I'm, I'm interested in. I got to take batting practice with my favorite childhood sports team. <laughs> I've had cinematic opportunities that are a direct result of the work that I've been doing here. And, um, and I know that, that when this is all said and done, after I drop off the face of the earth for approximately two months, probably like on a safari or something, uh, I know that, that the next chapter for me, both personally and professionally, is going to be really exciting. Last but not least, to the people that are watching this right now, to the people that have populated my social media channels over the past seven plus years, I have made countless friends. Uh, I have been able to tell so many stories. I've been able to uh, facilitate great moments for people because they're a fan of the Green Arrow. And I'll miss that a great deal, but something tells me, uh, even when I'm done, I, I won't be gone. If you've watched the Arrowverse, you should understand that. Thank you very much, guys. There'll be more from me. I'm sure that I'll get a chance to talk more about it, but I wanted you to hear about this from me. I think, um, I think it's been a good run. It's no supernatural, but it's been a good run. All right. Thank you. I love you all.